I'm Dr. Benjamin Spock. I flew down to Washington this morning to do a small job uh, for Senator Kennedy's campaign and uh, have made a call at the uh, Kennedy's. It's uh, fun to be here. Oh, I'm delighted, Dr. Spock, and very grateful that you would take the time from a busy schedule to come here from Cleveland. I wondered, perhaps you'd tell me some of the issues that you think are the most important in this campaign. The one that has me most steamed up is uh, federal aid to uh, education because I think in the present state of our country, uh, both in terms of its ability to pay for things and its need for educated people, that this is one of the jobs that we ought to get uh, started on. And uh, I'm delighted that Senator Kennedy has made a big issue of this in the campaign and even more important that in the years uh, previously, in his 14 years in Congress and in the Senate, he really has worked hard for aid for education, for scholarships, uh, for public libraries in uh, regions that uh, don't have them. He's really uh, worked uh, at these. I know, it's such a long and often hopeless fight I hope it will accomplish something. Uh, there seems to be such a shortage of schools and of teachers. I'm glad that you mentioned teachers as well as buildings. The uh, legislation that Senator Kennedy was uh, working for was not uh, proposing that the federal government uh, hand paychecks to uh, individual teachers if they teach the way the federal government <laughs> said. The bill proposed giving money, federal money, to the states. Uh, for the states to distribute for both buildings uh, and for teachers' salaries. I think many people don't realize that uh, the reason that uh, federal aid is important is because many localities and many states have reached the limit of their borrowing power. And if the bill were passed, do you think it could help very quickly there? I think that it's terribly important to get started because obviously you're not going to create teachers uh, in a rush. Uh, you've got to first have salaries that invite them, salaries that keep them from slipping out of teaching uh, into uh, other jobs. And then uh, wh what do you think about medical care for the aged? This of course involves an age uh, group that's at the very opposite end of uh, my own uh, competence, but I do know enough to know uh, that a majority of retired people really need help in uh, taking care of their medical bills. Uh, they don't, that a majority don't have the funds uh, to do it uh, themselves. I think that the bill that was passed that uh, requires people in effect to take a pauper's oath uh, is entirely unnecessary and uh, undignified and uh, humiliating. It seems to me that the social security system uh, is, of course, the appropriate way uh, to take care of this. Uh, you let people buy their own insurance and then uh, benefit from it at the time that they need it. And so often in letters from women that I've gotten who seem to be the most concerned in that subject, they say that they often have to sacrifice their children's education because they're overcome with bills to take care of aging parents. It seems such an impossible and tragic choice to have to make. Yeah, I think it's unfair for young people to have to contribute a disproportionate amount for the support of uh, retired parents of theirs, and I think it's also very unfortunate for retired people to feel that they have to depend on their own uh, children. Oh, well, I've learned so much listening to you today. I can't tell you how I've enjoyed it. It's been fun to come down here, uh, Ms. Kennedy. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Help elect John F. Kennedy for president.